come to appreciate all that Jesus has done for you and you would like to have your name inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life, it gives me great pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because you too have studied your Bible and you've come to learn that Jesus loves you and you want to be part of his family. It gives me great pleasure to baptize you too in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every time I have a baptism, I like to just give an invitation for those who are in the audience, who may be someone there who's thinking, maybe I should do that one of these days, not too far down the road. So there's someone here who has witnessed, studied, been prompted, and would like to make plans to follow their example. Um, in baptism, have your name too, written in God's book, ready for Jesus to come. So why don't you just raise your hand, don't, don't forget to see me after though. All the little ones are already been spoken for. Let's pray as we conclude this part of our service. Lord, we thank you so much for the power of choice. You give us the ability to choose to follow you and you give us the ability to choose not to. Help us consistently to take your advice, choose life, commit our lives to you. Thank you for Adam and Vanessa, and we pray you bless them in a special way. And everyone else that is there making and have made that decision, fix it in our hearts and minds and make us, Lord, fit candidates for your kingdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.